guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and agreeing to the finale, episodes 11 to 13 of Noragami Arigato. So I know some people are going to get really, really confused on how the heck I'm going to do this. Um, I will have everything time, like I normally do, the second episode, which will be episode 12, and episode 13, because like once episode 11 and 12 are done, I'll mainly do 13, and then how to edit, da -da -da -da, yada yada yada. Whatever, because I know when we get to um, 13, there might be like a brand new timer because it's not going to like go with the next one. But yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Let's see how this thing show ends. She got a redemption. That's nice. I honestly thought, like, right after, like, everything that happened with What's-His-Face that, like, she maybe would have banished Aya, but I think she just saw, like, sympathy and not really pittiness to her, but just something like, I do feel sorry for you. You were just corrupted by darkness. So, let me, um, Let me let no let her apologize for her sins and just start anew. No, yeah, that's because of freaking Yato and dude, and I don't want to talk about honestly last week's episode. Like, mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. and then I still gotta watch the OVs, but I think maybe tonight after I'm done giving my dog a bath cleaning some extra parts of my room and while this and k on are editing maybe i'll watch the ovas like i can probably find them on my um my fire stick somewhere and just to see how the ova what the heck the ovas did because i know a lot of people are like oh she's not watching the ovas no maybe i'll make a video on it if i have time sometime next week and just like give my final thoughts on those ovas and like anything else that I wanted to talk about it. If I don't, I don't. I'll probably just go on um, Twitter and make a post about it and then uh, repost it to my uh, community tab on YouTube so that just in case anyone who wanted to know how I felt about it, I was like, yeah, it was okay. I just want season three now. That's all I want. But I'm guessing season three is not going to come for a long time now because Studio Bones is busy with My Hero and a couple of other animes. So, it's okay. I'll be fine. Not really. See, how are you? No, see, I thought they were going to go through the cave, but no. Yato is not okay. Wasn't that? That was him. Wasn't it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Why are you here? I thought you died or something. Like, I mean, because he was like, since he wasn't on screen anymore, I'm like, okay, maybe he got killed by somebody. Uh-oh, never mind. Damn. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, are you going to do the thing that fucking um, Kameda did with Junko San? Can we not? The things that people did to Jinko's body, you know? Like, mm. Yeah. Cause ain't he a Nora now?
I don't think he's going this time. Mm -hmm. And because of the fact that you don't know the Nora's name, Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you know her? Yes. No, it's not that. I know, I'm thinking, why didn't y'all run away before? I mean, but wouldn't Norris have a weakness, though? They can't be that supreme. Because he don't made him go with her, him, her, them. Mm -hmm. So don't always believe what he says. Yes. <laughs> and we just pray that he's fine and nothing bad to oh okay never mind never mind I say that every single time. Like, we pray something's wrong with him and then something's wrong with the character.
tell her about Yato. The Yato's friends. You think they're gonna stay away? Come on, especially Hiori. He, we all know he in love with them. Sacrifice himself. He's down there. Like, it just makes me wonder, like, how the hell are they going to get him down there in the house? Mm -hmm. Oh, um, isn't already got his ass, um, Girl got hair. So you just want to leave him there? Or maybe have, um, yeah, I knew they weren't going to make it through there. It would be too easy. Is she? Oh, okay, she's pulling her hair. I just think Hiro you know, just wants to be nice to you. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. No. God. Remember when he called her a bitch? She doesn't seem like a bitch anymore. I mean, like, with Bisha, Bisha has many. Can't he just have both Hiro and Yukine? If it's for him, if he really wants to, but then, like, still, Yuki will always be jealous of her because that is his first, and they have a special bond that, but Yuki and Yato have a special bond as well, but. <laughs> Hiyori? So you stay here with Ebisu and let everybody else go. Yuki will bring Yato back. Are you fucking serious?
I kind of figured she would be the only one to save him. Yeah, please come back alive. Like, we almost done with this episode. Well, the guy who's real, who, um, Nora was calling father, and then freaking Yato is also saying it as well. Like, that was the reason, and then something else. So, I hope they kind of talk about that as well. Oh, the hair. That's a little weird, though. And that's because she has them, probably. Well, dang! Yeah, you gotta take them. Just get Yato and get out. No, the woman too powerful. She got like a force field around her and everything else. Oh, they know. Just trying to get you. Yeah, we, we kind of know that already. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. Let her say you for once this time. It's not idiotic. There you go. It's just her being respectful for you as well.
<laughs> you really want to see them again. Yes. and a lot quicker. I hope he ain't gonna do what I think he's gonna do. Like, he gonna go in there and be like, nope, take me. Okay, how? And don't let it be by sacrificing yourself. Excuse me? So you're telling me now, Hiyori... But Kofuku just said that she can't go down there because she'll die. She won't even make it out alive. So now you're saying that she's going to have to go down there? I got no words. <laughs> I'm a little confused on that until we get to this episode 12. But like, how are you going to say you can't go down there because you won't make it alive, but then it's a possibility now she has to go down there in order to save him. But you would think that Bisha like, ultimately would be the one to save him because it's kind of her redemption arc. He saved her twice, so let her repay the favor towards him by saving him, but it, in the end, it's going to be Hiyori. It's literally going to be like season one all over again, and how that ended. How basically Hiyori like sees the crap out of Yato, but like, what is she going to have to do now? Like, literally, I only now only have two episodes left, and I, mm, I got no clue on how this show is going to end. Really, I, I know it's going to end good. But <clears throat> and then what's also weird to me is when Yato was sitting here talking to all these other gods about reincarnating, no matter how many times they die, they can be reincarnated. Can't he be reincarnated as well? Like, I mean, he's also a god. So, I'm guessing he's died maybe over a thousand times, and it wouldn't be, like, hard for him to possibly die again. I'm not really saying that he's gonna die by the end of this episode, or in 13, but something's gotta give it's just weird to the fact is if he could just leave his dead body there that could count as him being there and he could still be in two places at the same time with what's her face in the underworld even though that is his dead body and then in the real world as a spirit again and being with yuki and Hiyori. or is that too easy i mean and if it feels too easy then you know hey, that happens it happens all of it. Sometimes you can't take the easy way out. Sometimes you have to take the hard way out. But I don't know. I'm just like, I think with everything that I'm thinking about right now, I'm kind of like stumped in a way. But I don't know. This is like the first time that I possibly literally have no freaking clue about what could happen or how this predicament is going to end with Hiyori 
maybe making the ultimate sacrifice and then she dies as a main character which would be weird for them to kill her off because she's really important to this series I could see them killing anyone else off but her. And that's the same thing like if they killed y um, Yato or even Yuki. Because they're too important to the plot. They are, they like, they make the story. And killing someone off, as I said last week with Attack on Titan, um, sometimes that'll make or break the story. I was like, if Levi freaking died, you know, a lot of fangirls be like, alright, I'm done reading this series. But me, I'm like, I don't give a shit who fucking does. No, oh, don't eat him. No, not Cosma. Yeah, and that's going well. Yeah, you might as well freaking tell her. Because, you know, he already going to be like, mm -mm, I need to know. Which is yelling. Well, it's the only thing that they got besides Bisha, and that's working well. No, I'm not really hungry. No, no, you eat it. You like sand out here. You eat that. I don't like fish like that. I don't think that's a wise idea. She might do something. <sighs> Unfortunately, you are going to be staying here alone by yourself. Oh, come on! She couldn't at least kick her butt first before the audience was like, mm, be shaman! <laughs> like, no! It would work for her, but not for him.
to him with his true name, then. And did he ever know about it? Huh. Whatever it is, it's not good. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, you, you never told them. Uh -uh. No, they won't because they're different. I can't save you. Oh, God. Mm -mm. Her hair. Ooh. Mm -mm. No, man. Mm -mm. That is worse than freaking what's her face from the grudge. What have you done? That's you. While we wait for Yato, and we learned out what the hell its true name is. Excuse me. Right. Of course. That's fine. She ready to kick some ass. She didn't get to kick what's the face's ass, so you know hey. We gotta kill the heavens protectors. hoping that before this episode ends and before I go to episode 13 that at least we find out what Yato's true name is. I don't want it to be like, oh, you'll have to wait till episode 13 to find out. Be like, no, that's not fair. So just like before this episode ends, because we I literally have 13 minutes left. I need to know. <laughs> She's really going to fight them. Oh.
But hold on. Let me say something real quick. What if it's something that we already know that was talked about in like season one? And, and Yuki, I mean, not Yuki. He already knows it, but she just doesn't remember it right now. Cause then Kofu ever say anything? Oh. Oh, he on it. Oh. Bye. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Where is it? <sighs> it's okay, she'll be fine. Okay, silly. Hell, I don't even think I said episode 12 because I don't really remember. So, shit. It's going to be a little weird to edit this one. I figured that was going to happen. Oh, Misha! So it'll be fine for now. Mm, a lot, possibly.
am. It's a little weird that it's uh, random blood, but okay. Yuki, no, Yuki, don't get mad. Hmm. Can we talk about this later? Also, where the heck is Nora? Yuki, of course he trusts you. I'm not gonna let go. Damn. Um, wasn't expecting that. What the heck is that? Like, in the end, they just want to kill him no matter what. They're, like I said, they're the type of people who are like, kill first, ask questions later. But technically, they've already done all the questions that they've asked and possibly have gotten answered. So they just like, screw it, I'm going to kill him. They don't care. They don't care. What are you about to do? I got like what? Three minutes left? Three minutes left. I know. So why are you doing this? Like, and that be like the last thing you see before you die, and you just accept it. Dang. Oh. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's so not fair. 
That's so mean. Yeah, it's not cool. Let's just say that. Like, I thought he was going to be okay. Like, I'm thinking if we're going to end this series, one episode left, and no one else was going to die. And you kill him. That sucks. Okay, it's going to be a little weird to edit this because I forgot to say episode 12. Um, so I'm going to have to edit it like I normally, I used to normally edit it with showing the video and trying to find out where episode 12 kind of started so that I can write it down. But it was still good. I just, I wasn't expecting that ending where Ebisu died. I really thought that like no matter his arc of what he's done, all the bad things that he's done, um, everything, that he would have been okay. That everything would have been fine in the end. That nothing bad would happen to any of these characters anymore. And we would have had a really nice, wrapped up, happy ending going into the finale. But sometimes it's not like that. Sometimes you, ultimately someone has to die. And especially someone who looked like they were the bad guy in the beginning of the show are really the second half of the show. And then by the end of the series, they're a good guy and they realize their mistakes. So I just, I feel bad. Okay, quick question, even though we're about to start episode 15 in, like, about, like, a minute or two. Why is Yato, like, he's in a business suit, but he looks like a regular person, so what the... <laughs> what in the world happened? I'm so confused, but you see, like, Hiyori is there with Riki Yukine and, you know, her, her spirit tail is there, so something happened. <laughs> it's just what? I don't know. Like, I'm stumped right now. Okay, alright, let me go. I will see you guys in, like, two seconds. Bye-bye for now. Bye! Okay, episode 13 in three, two, one, go. That's him. It's still sad that he died, but at least he got reincarnated. Cody, go lay down. I'm almost done. And plus, I gotta do K-On. I wanna do K-On before your mom leaves. It's almost four. And I don't get done till about like 420 maybe? I don't know.
Okay, okay. You know, for the first time in forever, Yuki, I really don't know. I wish I could tell you. Y Yato? <laughs> they just ran by. Yeah. That's why you brought him, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, what he told you. No, please don't show this. Like, I don't want to see this. Even though I wanted to, but then at the same time, no. Like, it's going to hurt. Cause just break it in there. I thought everything was gonna be okay. Nothing bad was gonna happen. And then you saw when everybody fell back, and then a line of red, and then Bisha saying his name, and that's it. <laughs> well, the previous view, like eating. Yeah. Kind of. That happened so fast, didn't it? I didn't even have time to say anything. He just died. Yeah. Good, ain't it? <laughs> Look at me, he's hungry. I'm guessing you don't like carrots. No, unfortunately. Yeah. 
That's what you saw previously. The previous year, so. I mean, I'm glad that he, you know, he got to be reincarnated again. But still, it's just sad to be so close. And to just to get fucked over in the end. Just like that. Mm. Yeah, that hasn't said execute me. No, you weren't about to die. No. But to them, they see it as it's fine. He's already dying. It's so sad. The you, that you will be gone. Even though I didn't see it, I heard it, and I didn't like that sound. Probably 
Of course, because it, it's a little weird that, you know, when the previous Ebisu died, the brush mysteriously disappears as well. When it, it was in his back pocket, so when he died, it just went somewhere. And now they can't find it. <laughs> I hope so too. They'll be fine. Where are you going? I'm going to see Jody. Are we finally going to talk about her? Or your past? Or both? And it's different now. Cause I have one. I was like, he dropped her. So I was like, he. I'm assuming he left her else behind. It's so fucked up though. No. Not this time.
Thank God, Yato. It took 26 episodes, but finally, thank you. Thank God. I'm also glad he already was there to witness that. God. I'm so happy. You know, I gotta say, that was a really good way to end, really, this show overall. I still miss that character from the first half of the show. I I really enjoyed this show. It was good. It was a really nice way to end it and just to wrap everything up and together. Thank God he finally released her. Because, you know what, the funny thing was, and I kind of asked this to myself when I watched season one and when she first came into the picture, I was like, well... Would he possibly ever really release her or something? And when Bisha did it with Koga, I, I was more, I was like getting more and more certain that it was going to happen, but I just didn't know when. And when he went with her to the, his father, and I'm hopefully like wondering if the show gets to season three that we get to see who this quote-unquote father is because, like, that that's the biggest question I got now. And what could possibly happen next if the show got a season three? I know a lot of people say, like, in the manga, um, after this, it gets only better and better. I don't really kind of want to read the manga, but, like, unless it's maybe a year, not even a year from now, maybe a couple of months from now, um, maybe even a year, sometime next year or a year after. Um, maybe just to kind of see if it never truly gets something else, but hey, if it doesn't, it doesn't. If it does, it does. But him, uh, oh. Um. So you're telling me that that's the father. What the? Oh, fuck.
So, okay, then what was the reason for him to, to, get, to get close to, you know, like, Hiyori so that she could slowly forget? Yeah, okay, hold up. Hold up. Now I got so many questions, and, that, and that's really going to kind of make me want to honestly read the manga, because eventually those three are going to have to find out the truth, because I kind of figured that Nora wasn't going to be officially dead because she has so many names on her body, and she's been with so many other masters and gods that, you know, of course, we're probably going to find out who the freak the father is and just, mm, mm. I wasn't really expecting that in the, in the, like, last few minutes of this episode. But, honestly, it's a really good show. Um, I wouldn't really say it's underrated. It's really, really good. I think a lot of people, um, hyped it up in the beginning for me because of the fact is like a lot of people were like oh like you've never seen origami like oh well like I highly suggest it and stuff and because of the fact is I had it I had my um my first channel my very first channel I had it that got deleted but I got like all um the episodes and then I finished like all of season one on that second channel then the same thing happened with the second channel that happened with my first channel and then re-uploading all of season one and then starting season two on this channel, it got a little annoying to the point where, like, views would always go up and down. Because, like, typically sometimes when you're, um, I'm gonna use, like, another person as, as an example. When people used to steal my videos, um, from my first channel and re-upload them, uh, they wouldn't get as much views as, like, my first videos. Like, my first videos would probably be in, like, the mid- uh, double, triple numbers, and then by the time someone would steal it and claim it as their own, and people would think that that person in the video is them, when it was obviously me, uh, they would kind of get, like, maybe under 20 views and maybe one or two likes and several dislikes and stuff. And, yeah, I mean, but it's a really good series, and I would highly request it to some, uh, not request it, well, um, Tell someone else to watch it and then possibly like rewatch it again because it, it it's interesting but like it makes me wonder what the hell happened now like I, I don't know where like the manga could be truly as of now and I know a lot of people aren't really going to answer my questions to anything I truly have because of the fact is I personally kind of want to say this and this is just my opinion on how it the um series dealt with me it kind of slowly died after, like, releasing it on not one but two channels, technically three now, um, over and over again where I don't get as much comments or, um, questions answered and stuff. And so 50 out of 50 sometimes I have to look up the questions myself, I mean, well, the answers myself, or I just go on Twitter and I just ask people who have seen the, um, seen the anime and read the manga and continuously are currently reading the manga right now, if any of the questions that specifically get answered in my videos will get answered later on but yeah it's a really enjoyable series and yeah I would love to watch it again one day like if I had nothing else to do and I just wanted to see these characters over again um again but um I know now the biggest thing is a lot of people are probably gonna ask me what the hell I'm watching next well um as of right now I am going to keep that a surprise I will give you a little hint right now it is one of the shows um that I have been asked maybe for for all three channels as of right now, even though I kind of really consider this my second channel. Um, I've been asked the question to watch the name of this show, I want to say about more than 20 times. Even during this series, at the halfway point, I got asked if I've seen the series that I'm going to watch next. I got asked two weeks ago as well if I've seen it. Um, all I'll say is it's 100 episodes long. I'm going to try to get it done in 50 weeks. So this is going to be one of the most challenging series that I've ever done between that and Overlord because I am recording episodes of Overlord like this. And I'm trying to just get the series and try to be ahead of it no matter what. So it is going to be even harder because the next series that I'm doing is a Patreon request. And yeah. But uh, other than that, I will say, if you go look on my playlist, it's on there. 
you might get it right, but you're not really going to know until next Monday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards this series of Norig Nor Norigami. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next Monday. Bye, guys.